Andy Cummings singing Waikiki, one of the songs Mickey Goldson published, one of the songs he has promoted for play on mainland radio, in hotels, elevators, and restaurants. For Cummings and the rest of the Goldson clients, this was a memorable reunion. I've been all these guys here for many years that I haven't seen, you know, and they're getting along in their age now, you know, so it's nice to be with them. <laughs> Are you going to take that? He said you're all getting along in age here. I have to because that's right. <laughs> Bob Nelson was there. He wrote Maui Waltz and Hanalei Moon. I think it, the era has gone, and the, the same kind of era is occurring now because there's so much talent here in the islands. And the composer of Beyond the Reef, Jack Pittman. It was, empty. It was during the war, and he got his inspiration from Cujillo Beach. Well, uh, they had barbed wire there, and they took it up, you know, and then, then nobody ever went there. But I used to sit in the wall and look at it. And uh, there's quite a surf there, and that's where Duke Kahanamoku used to surf, you know. Maddie Lamb, Alvin Isaacs, Randy Onis, and more, all luncheon guests of their publisher today. <laughs> what do you think the reception is on the mainland to the sounds of these marvelous composers? Unfortunately, uh, all music that was composed in the 30s, 40s, and 50s uh, has, is out of style in a sense. The young people like their music, and they just don't accept uh, the new music, whether it's Hawaiian or, or ballads. Every once in a while you'll get a revival, but unfortunately, Hawaiian music has not had the good fortune to uh, be favored with new recordings. It's very difficult, so as a result, I have recorded uh, people myself to try to keep the tradition alive. <laughs> 